morning everybody it's uh, I know they said Sunday it's Saturday the 15th of May 2021 and as I mentioned yesterday I'm away out somewhere special today and this is the A68 that's the turn off for the caravan park so you can gather I'm not far from who I've just been up there fill the tank so um, anyway the weather here is not very good but let's hope it's better where I'm going anyway um, so A68 heading towards the A69 right I'm on the A69 heading west Dry, a little bit overcast as you can probably see. The blue sky, and it's a bit uh, looks a bit misty further up the road towards Hexham. So we'll just have to see how it goes anyway. Just passing the turn off for um, Barden Mill. Anybody that travels up and down near 69 probably recognises that Starbucks. Maybe stop there for a coffee. And then we've got this filling station just here. The road's not so bad actually, it's uh, pretty quiet. There's a couple of people crossing over the road. from home so far and uh, the weather's about the same just coming into Holt Whistle well bypassing Holt Whistle the turn off for Holt Whistle is just coming up quite a nice little village many years ago when I used to pass up and down here working for Sky I used to often call in the Hulk whistle to the fish and chip shop on my way home just coming up the green head bank so we're heading towards Brampton is 18 miles from here quite a steep long bank this and if you get caught behind a truck coming up here you're stuck like everybody tries to dash in the other lane before they get to this 150 yards left Looking bright now over here, mind this uh, bit sun shining. So uh, it seems to be looking better in the west than it is in the east, anyway. Quite a bit of traffic here, and all that kind of tells me maybe I was thinking maybe traffic lights up ahead where it wasn't obviously all this traffic was stuck behind this tractor here at some point this petrol station here sells gorgeous pies when I used to come over here regular I used to always call in there for a pie once a week or whatever but uh, yeah lovely pies are selling there so highly recommended 
hope you are coming this way and get a bit peckish, pop in there, get yourself a pie, or even warm them up for you if you want to done in the microwave or something like that but uh, not my kind of thing microwave pies they got too soggy but uh, not a recommendation for you anyway well we're coming to the end of the year 69 Carlisle south to the left, Carlisle north straight ahead, Carlisle airport straight ahead, Warwick Bridge to the left, and I'm going straight ahead towards Carlisle airport. Over here on the right is Carlisle Airport and the home or base of Eddie Stoggard. Not the home like but the base of his company. And uh, got their own private airport. It used to be Carlisle Airport and then it was bought up by Eddie Stoggard as far as I'm aware like. And uh, Basically, just coming up to the end of the runway, really. Here, so still heading towards Carlisle North, anyway, at the moment. So, just approaching towards the M6, that's the M6 over there. So, anyway, I'm not going to call either, that's for sure. So, where am I heading? And am I going to go north or south on this M6? Let's see. Well, there's a little clue which direction I'm heading. M6 North and there's my first Eddie Stobbard truck as soon as I get over here that's all you see Eddie Stobbard trucks everywhere so uh, we just joined the M6 now hold the pigeon roll along the road there or oh, its wings were anyway I think Right, just coming up to Gretna and uh, the Outlet Village, I believe it is. So, uh, first part of this journey is call into Gretna. Have a little break and a uh, little bit walk around for exercise. the M6 and almost in Scotland well this is it we're just arriving in Scotland now Scotland welcomes you Dumfries and Galloway right well this is Gretna Green just gonna have a look around the shop. This is where I bought my cap, where I normally wear. And I might just buy another one if I see one I like. Just coming through by the famous blacksmith shop. This here. Over here is uh, what you call the courtship maze. You enter in there, around there, and uh, try and find your way in and find your way out. And 
looking at the uh, you know the Love Lock Bridge I've just spotted so I can have a look at this talking about Love Locks look at this yeah look at all them spelt love in locks and lots of people have got their names on I presume they sell these locks in Gretna because there's a lot of them says Gretna Green on as well there's a one example yeah loads of them lots and lots of locks and they're now put them on this wall as well not many on the back but uh, there's a couple there's Angela and Des Shirley and Tony Carol and Gary Timpsons they're uh, the people that make the keys I think aren't they they must deal in grave locks for you as well so uh, there you go that's an old one rusty as hell that one aye some padlocks there really 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 lots of padlocks eh? very interesting well had a little break at Gretna a cup of tea a little biscuit or two and uh, back on the road got the sat nav on now to guide us the rest of the way and I'm on the A75 just passing this sign and it says Annan to the left and Stranraw and Dumfries straight ahead almost in Dumfries now still on the A75 I can see uh, this is Dumfries over here in the distance does have a few mountains around it so nice views of it had it been a little bit brighter would have made all the difference 12 miles from Lockerbie let's just uh, take a moment to uh, think about all them poor souls that uh, lost their lives over Lockerbie that was a right disaster at the moment I'm stuck behind this truck and it's pretty difficult to uh, try and get past it eventually got past that truck eventually took some doing like lost about six minutes on my journey now a bit more of an open road just past the police there the Scottish police and uh, climb the steep hill and it's 14 miles to uh, Castle Douglas and about take the guess about 20 miles to my destination roughly about 15 minutes left on the journey and I'm 103 miles from concert Scotland weather still dry let's just hope it stays dry some canny view 
shop here for sure. And the road is a lot quieter as well at the moment. So happy about that. Tell you what it is, there's a motorbike went past before. I was doing 60. And I jumped out the skin when he went past. He must have been doing 120, something like that. Unbelievable. On a 60 mile an hour limit. Right, just two miles left. Till I come to a place called Lauriston. And that's where I'm heading for. That's my destination today. But for what reason am I coming here? You soon find out. Well, I've arrived at my destination. And there's some little little goats in this field here. Bit windy, but there's a the one there. Baby one. Anyway, that's not the reason I came here for. The reason I come here for is for this. Oh, there's my phone, you know. I'll just have to ignore that for now. I came here for this, for the film the red kites again. So they're going to get fed in about. 25 minutes. There's absolutely loads of them. But anyway, I've got my zoom camera for when, for when I'm, I start to film them anyway. There's a little goat, look. So with the fence. That's a little face. things on horns on the top and all <laughs> you'll get stuck in there mate you get stuck in there well I've seen the red kites as a little follower on this uh, end of this video but the times I've been here a couple of times I've seen this old bridge here and I just wanted to take a photograph of it because I like the look of it they're like uh, some kind of like metal gates, what they can close or open. And uh, I don't know if they're operational or not, like, but um, it says on the sign over there gates may open at any time. So um, it must be like a flood defence type of thing. I watch where I am because I'm in the middle of a road here. There's uh, the river. What river it is, I couldn't tell you. Up in Scotland here. But uh, anyway, it's been enjoying wood day. The the weather, the rain stayed off. It actually looks like it's going to rain a bit now. But uh, anyway, it's. Uh, Time now is half two. I'm expected to be back by about quarter five, five o'clock. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. Well, been an enjoyable run out. I've just uh, got onto the A69 off the M6 motorway. Pulled up for a quick cup of tea, a sandwich. And uh, about an hour from home. So, uh, check the cameras back at home, and it looks quite sunny actually. It looks better over over the east than it does over here, over the west at the moment. So, um, see what's like when we get back home anyway. 
well I'm back in Hull Whistle. So uh, I think it's about 38 miles to Consent from Hull Whistle. Getting a bit tired now, but uh, that's all right. Just to put another 20 odd minutes, maybe. rain just for five minutes just spat on a little bit on the way back but work was fine well I came through Hexham and this is the last parking space before the A68 roundabout Essentials. There it is. Tesco. Looks like there's a few cars in here the night. Seems to be quite busy. Be nice to get out and stretch the legs. Right, that's the essentials got. Head home now and relax. Get up in front of this car. So it never rained anyway, that's the main thing. Day where it legs once I get it get home. So I wonder what happened to them, uh, them youngins that got caught off the police last year for being in the cemetery. Um, so that's about it for this one. I think it's uh, been a quite a long one. And uh, thumbs up as usual if you enjoyed it. And uh, be nice if one or two more new ones subscribe. Helps the channel out. It was a good day, good run out. Tiring, but good run out. So, um, anyway, watch for the red kite stuff coming next. So, I'll just say, take care, stay safe. Bye for now, see you in the next one.
Oh, God. 